All right, Michelle, you said, I create art with a purpose larger than decor. And, and since most people aren't looking for that purpose, I have difficulty verbalizing, thinking of a targeting therapist to sell it for me. So Michelle, where are you based? I'm in um, Western Washington, a uh, little town named Squim okay. on the Olympic Peninsula. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I'm just up the yeah, coast. you're just north of me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you said the purpose of my art is uh, whether hung on a, on a wall, seen in my free emotion discovery journal, uh, kids' books written from the perspective of a horse, I love it, uh, or homeschool creative writing projects is to create, to start conversations around emotional connection, and empathy, and families. And my URL is naturesemotions.com. So it, they're, they're the emotional metaphors I see in nature. Beautiful. Mm. Um. And family therapists, uh, what I'm, I have a therapist. And so I was talking to her. She really wanted to see the Emotion Discovery Journal. She loves it. And it suddenly thought, I thought, well, maybe therapy, family therapists would be a good niche to recommend to their clients. Um, here's something that you can take home and use with your kids. And, you know, it's basically the, the busy families whose kids are disconnected and on their devices and they're all going 50 different ways and they're not connected. And it all comes out of my own uh, family experience, my childhood of emotions were not on the list of things to talk about. And so, you know, I've been making, I've been trying to do this thing for uh, five years now, and I'm making claims. It turns homes into havens. It does all these things. And, and I'm realizing that people just don't give that much yeah. credit to their art on the wall or their kid's book or whatever. Okay. So first of all, there's, there is a direct resource I check out, um, a colleague Bradley Morris. He's got a business called Magic Kids. And mm -hmm. that might, I, they might be interested in, in, um, licensing uh, some of your stuff okay um i think it might fit perhaps um so let's do this in the chat what are your ideas for michelle based on what you've heard so feel free to throw those in that we'll review those in a moment uh okay I don't think the idea of having therapists sell it has legs in particular. Um, the, have you seen the movie, The Horse Boy? Oh, no, I don't a, have. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. It's about a family where their son develops autism. Right. And they real, and the, the son has this connection with horses. And it just struck me that perhaps the, the autistic community may hmm. have a particular interest in these books, you know, just nature and feelings. It could be something very helpful for that community. Mm -hmm. um, generally, the nature connection world, you know, people who are into forest schools, Waldorf schools, uh, you know, um, nature connection, primitive skills, this might be the kind of gift that they would want to give to their friends who just had kids. Uh, right what's the name of that the guy um he's in this he was in my area john brown is that his name the john young john young the naturalist yeah yeah exactly exactly the eight shields the art of mentoring crowd right for sure the permaculture world um so yeah if anyone has ideas of how michelle could promote her work put that in the chat um But um, so in this case, there's, there's, okay. Your ideal clients are an island A, they want to be an island B. Your business is like a boat that can get them from one island to another. For a service provider, that's the truth, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, for a service provider, the whole thing is about the journey from A to B. For a product maker, it's the mm -hmm. boat. Okay. So it's it's the flip. So you're selling the boat, not the journey. So I would, and people will take a lot of different journeys on your boat. They'll get on your boat for a bunch of different reasons. But if you make a product 
it's we want to be hold the A and B thing a lot more loosely and know there will be a lot of A's and B's. And the question is, who would be interested in this boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what types of people? Because there will be a lot of different types of people. With a service provi provider, there's one journey and many offers. But with a product, there's one product, but many journeys. Right. Yeah. So we think, okay, what crowds would have a definite interest in this type of thing? And then we just want to make sure we get it in front of them, um, you know, uh, and so podcasts about nature connection stuff, podcasts particularly about parenting and nature connection, you know. Yeah, and, the whole, and the parenting thing, I'm a little iffy on because I was never a parent. And I have a confidence issue in saying, here's what you need to do when all I can speak from is what I needed as a child and didn't get. Yeah, that's, well, you were on the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And, and. You know, so I, I would really be looking at. So so there wasn't emotional stuff wasn't talked about when you were when you were younger. Mm -hmm. So one of the things you can do, and this is um, let's see if I can find this video on YouTube, it's this idea of doing what's called an industry presentation. And the industry presentation I got from a guy, I think Chet Holmes years ago. And Grab this video. Yeah, Power of Industry Presentations on YouTube. It's called. God, I just shaved my beard in this video and I'll never do that again. <laughs> the uh, here's the uh here's the here's the link. Okay. But the basic idea would be this. You could come up with a presentation. Now, this could be done in partnership with other people, or you could do it um your on your own. So let me talk about the solo version and we'll talk about the collaborative version. The solo version is you come up with a presentation that talks about um, five tools you can use to help develop the emotional lives of your children, something like that, yeah? Yeah. And so you come up with five approaches. So one of them might be nonviolent communication. One of them might be there's something else, and there's something else, something else. And the fifth thing is your work. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? So yours is in there. Um, but because here's the thing. So here's the example. It's probably in this video. There was a woman, Angela Thompson, I think her name was, in uh, Nova Scotia. And she sold cloth diapers. And I was talking about this kind of workshop. She said, this wouldn't work for me. I said, why not? She said, because I sell cloth diapers and people either already use them and love them and they're not coming to a workshop or they think they're fucking disgusting and they're not coming. Either way, there's no interest. So there, there could be a similar thing here. Like they're either just kind of not interested in this work, they don't get it, or they sort of already get it and they're not, you know, so they may not come for this art. My guess is that it would be the amount of time it would take to help them really get it is too much. but they might come to a workshop around developing the healthy emotional life of your kids. Right. And then you, you share a number of approaches and your book. And it's like, and if you're interested in my work in my books, here's where you go. And that could be your signature workshop hmm. and that you could have hosted and you could tour that to all these different people who might. So, you know, somebody, somebody who does the eight shield stuff could say, Hey, um, We've got a great presentation from this one, Michelle, coming in talking about the emotional lives of our children and how to develop those in a healthy way. And um, the uh, I see, uh, Alicia, the reason you're hearing the video playing right now is because it's playing on your end, not mine. Um, so Was uh, yeah, so so right, this a local eight shields person, that community might host you to do a live workshop or an online workshop where you talk about this. And those are the kind of people who are probably likely to buy your thing. The other thing to think about, and as a way of framing it, is some people won't I think it's gonna be at least 50-50 people buying it for themselves or as a gift for others. Mm -hmm. 
So if you have a sort of drop shipping thing of like, hey, would you like to send this book as a gift or you, you, know, you send it yourself? Would you like to send this book as a gift? Hmm. For some of these images, this art is a gift to uh, new parents or, you know, you know, parents who have kids about this age. Then here's how you can do it. Make it really easy for them to share it in that way. Because my, my guess is that was my immediate inclination is like, oh, I would probably give it as a gift to a, to a parent of kids. So then also doulas, midwives, et cetera, you know, you, that, that might be a good set of hubs because uh, they're connected with families, parenting coaches. Mm. possibly uh could be a good set of hubs but so okay so you can do it yourself but you could also say i'm going to get a nonviolent communication instructor i'm going to get a parenting coach i'm going to get a um feldon christ for kids or yoga for kids instructor you could bring them all together and you could say look here's the deal we're going to do this online presentation together or live local but the catch is you have to promote it too. If you're going to be on the bill, because okay. I can do this on my own. I don't need you. Um, but if we all promote it, we all win. Right. And then you just make sure you track that. And if people don't promote, you just don't invite them back, basically. Yeah. Um, so those are some thoughts. How does that all land for you? That's, a, that's I feel like I'm going to get really busy. Um, no, that's wonderful. Yeah. And yes. as for well, the book is on Amazon. So for me to think about perfect sending it as That's a gift. Perfect. Yeah, I don't I don't have to get too fancy there. I just give them a link. Um perfect. also the the um the creative writing project for middle school is on teacherspayteachers.com. And and that was the other thing. I don't know if therapists use teacherspayteachers.com for uh developmental things that they the homework that they give their clients and what I create would work as that like my emotion discovery journal so um do you recommend that like having you know Amazon teachers pay teachers you have all these different areas where people can get your work okay yeah I would. not just try to keep it on my own web website no I totally I would absolutely uh, okay yeah, make it make it as easy as possible for people to uh, to get the stuff. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful work. Um, and just a reminder to everyone: uh, if you share what you're here, tell the world about it on social media. You can get a fifty percent off. And my eternal undying gratitude. Uh, all right. Uh, next. <laughs>